Hey what's up everyone welcome back to NCX Tech now we all know the big names Ubuntu Fedora Arch they dominate the Linux space but what if i told you there's a wave of new exciting and brilliant linux distribution quietly making moves in 2025 today i'm going to show you five rising linux distros that you probably haven't heard of but absolutely you should some of these might just become your next daily driver so stick around till the end our first distro is the one that has been quietly gaining serious attention vanilla os now vanilla os isn't your regular ubuntu remix it's an immutable operating system which means your system files are protected and locked by default you can't accidentally break down your system with a bad update or by tampering with critical files and if something does go wrong it's easy to roll back but here's where it gets really clever vanilla os uses apx a containerized package manager apx lets you install software virtually from any linux distro Fedora, Arch, Debian, Alpine in isolated containers. This means you can safely run risky packages or software from another distro without worrying about breaking your main system. It's like having multiple Linux environments in one clean and modern desktop. And yes, it ships with polished GNOME interface, minimal pre-install apps, and it's built for security and flexibility. If you are someone who loves experimenting or needs a reliable system for both work and play, Panel OS should absolutely be on your radar. Coming up next is Blend OS and let me tell you this distro is built for distro hoppers who finally wants to settle down. Blend OS is a rolling release Linux distribution that blends multiple package managers under one system. Meaning you can install apps from Arch, Pacman, Fedora's DNF or Ubuntu's APT without dual booting or setting up complicated CS routes. It uses containerized systems under the hood to sandbox these packages, ensuring your base system stays stable and isolated from potential conflicts. The beauty of Blend OS is that it offers a true hybrid environment. You could have your favorite AUR software alongside Fedora tools and Ubuntu packages all running smoothly on a clean GNOME desktop. It's perfect for developers, testers and Linux enthusiasts who want the best of every distro without the constant reinstalling. And because it's a rolling release, you are always on the latest kernel and software updates making it ideal for those who love staying on the cutting edge. At number 3 or this two I'm personally excited about Sorpent OS. Sorpent OS is being built from scratch by the former Solus OS developers. If you have been in the Linux world for a while, you might remember how Solus was clean, fast and loved by many for its simplicity and performance. Now with Sorpent OS, they are taking everything they learned from Solus and rebuilding a modern, efficient and minimalistic operating system for 2025. It's not based on Ubuntu, Debian or Arch, it's an independent distro. With its own package manager, Sol, Sorpent OS promises a lightweight, clean and reliable environment designed for both desktop and cloud systems. It features an atomic update system, reducing breakage during the upgrades, and its design philosophy focuses on predictability, reproducibility and speed. While it's in active development, the buzz around the Sorpent OS is huge and for good reason. If you're a Linux enthusiast who values clean architecture and future ready distros, this is the one to watch closely. At number 4 for Linux gamers out there, we have Novara Linux. Novara is a Fedora based Linux distro specifically tailored for gaming and content creation. It addresses a common frustration, how setting up a gaming-ready Linux system often means manually configuring drivers, ProtonZ builds, OBS Studio tweaks and third-party codecs. Novara comes with all of that pre-installed and optimized out of the box. Unlike Fedora's strict default policies, Novara enables proprietary drivers, popular third-party apps and gaming libraries by default. No extra repositories are needed. It also includes pre-patched tools for streamers, video editors and online creators, making it an excellent choice if you want to game, stream and create content on Linux using extra set of hassle. 
and since it's built on Fedora, you still get the benefits from cutting as secure and an AC Linux hardened base. In 2025, Nobara has been climbing the distros charts fast and it's easy to see why. And finally, at number 5, we have Rhino Linux. This one is a hidden gem you'll definitely hear more about soon. Rhino Linux takes the beloved Ubuntu base but adds something Linux users have been craving for years, that is a rolling release model. Instead of waiting for point releases every 6 months, Rhino gives you continuous updates while keeping the stability Ubuntu is known for. But here's the twist, it uses Packstall, a package manager inspired by the AUR but designed for Ubuntu. With Packstall, you can quickly install community contributed packages, bleeding edge software and tools not available in Ubuntu official repositories. It also ships with a lightweight XFCE desktop by default, making it incredibly fast and resource friendly even on older hardware. For those who love Ubuntu but want the freshness of Arch and the flexibility of custom packages, Rhino Linux is the distro to watch in 2025. And that wraps up our list of 5 rising Linux distros in 2025 that you probably haven't heard of. Which one are you most excited to try? Or is there another underrated gem you think deserves a shout out? Drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear what you are using. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.